Hey guys, Carolina Gamer here. Just want to show you how to install uh, Freeboot with the NADX. As you'll see, it's already been soldered to the motherboard. The quick solder pads are. You know, they're not going anywhere. It's been plugged in to the NADX. Power cable's plugged in. Now we're going to plug in our USB. We're going to use Cool Shrimp's app. Select USB, your motherboard type. Hit Read NAD. And there it goes. And there you go. <clears throat> name it whatever you want to. I just chose to name it NAD. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. We're going to use Flash Tool. We're going to make sure all the information matches. Yep, looks like a good read to me. And then we're going to go right to the Okay, we're going to unplug the USB. We're going to then turn on the console. And there's Zell. You're going to wait and you're going to get your CPU key. I've already got that, so I'm going to turn off the console. And I'm going to come back to the computer. I'm going to input my CPU key. I'm going to make it Xbox One compatibility. I'm going to hit create bin. And I'm going to save it as um, NAD Freeboot. Actually, I mean, you got to open up your NAD, my bad. <coughs> And now I'm going to save it as NAD Reboot. I'm going to plug back in my USB. Then I'm going to go to the right bin. Then I'm going to click the NAD Freeboot bin.
And it's done. In just over seven minutes, we installed Freeboot with the NAT X from Team Executor. So let's test it out. I don't advise running a console without any fans, but for the video, it will suffice. This is the Japanese console, so that's why you're saying all of this. And there you go. Free boot with the NATX installed in just under you know seven minutes that doesn't include soldering of course or your JTAG portion but once you have that complete you know installing freeboot is relatively quick easy and painless so Carolina Gamer out